This is the engine compartment of a first generation Chevy Nova. Really, really a great looking car. Somebody spent a lot of time and a lot of effort on this guy. You can see everything is totally different than stock. Everything has been finished to a show quality uh, on this particular car. Even the shock tower uh, strut pieces uh, for your shocks are um, chrome plated. Uh, polished aluminum, valve pan covers, Edelbrock uh, performer intake manifold, Holly double pump carburetor with chrome fuel bowls and a chrome fuel line. Polished aluminum air cleaner, uh, K&N type uh, filter in it. Polished aluminum um, alternator on it with a billet, <coughs> billet fin assembly on it. Polished aluminum water pump. Polished aluminum uh, uh, pulley on the uh, crank. Polished uh, pulley wheel also on the uh, water pump for the uh, belt drive. The hoses, you'll see it when Devin shows you the pictures of this, but the hoses that for the uh, uh, heat that goes to the passenger compartment are really not evident. They come out of the engine and they go through the inside part of the uh, fender well, then exit out and go into the passenger compartment. So you only see about that much hose over there and a short section over here and that's it. Uh, that's the way they've uh, plumbed this thing so that you don't have any hoses. Everything is totally unobstructed. You can see there's no wiring hanging out anywhere on this thing. It's all hidden. Everything is, uh, is very, very, very well done. Two-stage master cylinder. Uh, no power brakes, no power steering, but you don't need it. This guy's real light in the nose. Uh, it's got a small block Chevy. I don't know exactly what configuration. It does have a large dampener on it and it has double hump heads on it, so you know there's a good possibility those are 202 heads. It has ceramic coated long tube headers. It has an, a polished aluminum high capacity high flow radiator on it. The hoses are the correct style hoses that should be on the vehicle. Uh, it has a, a polished ends on it uh, to cover up the clamps. Uh, a billet aluminum overflow tank also with the radiator. The um, header panel is absolutely unobstructed on this thing. It's not whacked or it's never been bent. You can see that it is an original one. And everything under this hood is finished as the outside of this car. Everything is a finely painted uh, bright red uh, paint just the way the outside of the car is. Very, very high end. Firewall done the same way. Trim tag still in place just the way it came from GM. Uh, even the uh, top part of the cradle for the engine is uh, uh, painted red the same way the rest of the vehicle is. Electric fan for the uh, cooling of this guy. Again, a high capacity radiator. It has a uh, transmission cooler in the front of it also. Um, there's nothing on this thing that hasn't been addressed. I can't even... It has a billet aluminum uh, MSD distributor in it, high temp. Uh, silicone plug wires that go down in the back and, and uh, go to the plugs from behind so there's no wires really evident on this engine at all. Uh, very, very well done. It's a polished or some type of a chrome plated uh, material on the uh, Edelbrock uh, RPM uh, intake manifold. This motor is making some good serious horsepower. I drove the vehicle and um, it's certainly not lacking in anything. It's a, it's a show quality vehicle. Uh, it, it has a small block in it. I don't know the configuration. Could be a 327, could be a 350, a 383. I don't know. Without pulling them down, there's no way to, to really differentiate one from another. So at this point, we're just going to designate it as a small block Chevy. But whatever it is, it's making a hell of a lot of horsepower. So uh, more than enough to pull this thing as fast as you want to go. Fantastic engine compartment. We're going to go around the rest of it and show you what we can. Hi, you're Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida, and, and check this neat little toy out. This thing's an absolute blast to drive. I happen to have it for a couple days, and I'm telling you, it is an absolute stitch. Small block Chevy, tons of horsepower, no weight. This little guy gets the job done. Paint on this thing is absolutely beautiful. If there was ever anything that approached a show quality paint job, this is it. It feels like the paint on a Ferrari or a Porsche. Fantastic. The fitment of the hood to the fender. Look at this. 
And this is on a little Chevy Nova, the, the least expensive car that, that General Motors produced at that point in time. Trim around the nose of it and the Chevrolet designation, all just as clean and new as you'd ever want to hope. Same thing on this side. Look at the gap, like an eighth of an inch the whole way around. This is like, I know you can't see, feel what I feel, but it feels like silk. It, it, you can't even feel anything on it. It's so smooth. Uh, the grill is an aluminum grill. There's no marks or chips or dinghies whatsoever in it. Chevrolet designation on the front. Um, a couple of little feet there. I don't know what that's for, but uh, kind of neat. Filler panel is nice, red painted, the same as the rest of the car. High intensity uh, lights on these guys. This thing has a lot of light in the nighttime. Uh, I don't know what these are. I know that these are not the cheaper plastic ones. This is a glass faced, uh, probably a quartz iodine light. Uh, really great uh, illumination at night. Front bumper fitment cannot possibly get any better and there are absolutely no scuffs whatsoever on the top of it from some idiot putting his foot up on it through the years. Um, front bumper the same way in the nose, there's no chips whatsoever. Uh, parking lights amber, nice crystal clear lenses. You can't, it's hard to see but there is a spoiler underneath the front of this thing. It's, it's semi-flat black and it's a neat spoiler. When you see this car coming at you, it has this spoiler system underneath instead of just seeing the parts of the undercarriage. Fantastic looking front end on this car. Absolutely no defects, absolutely no misalignment on anything. It just does not get any better than what you're looking at here right now. Fit or finish. Let's go down the side, see what we can show you there. Okay, driver's side of our little Chevy Nova. All tin. Look at this. Can you believe this? On a Nova. Down to the rocker panel. Look. Correct. Polished stainless wiper arms and polished stainless blades on this guy, just the way they should be. The trim that's inset into the rubber on this particular car, just as straight and nice as can possibly be. The windshield is new. There's not a defect or not a wipe mark or anything on it. Sunshade fade on the top of it on tinted glass. Dashboard, no dash pad. It's uh, tin and where it transitions onto the base of the windshield, crystal clean. It cannot be any nicer than it is. When they put this windshield in, they must have cleaned and polished and waxed the uh, dashboard because that's how clean and nicely fit that is. The roof is like the hood. I mean, it looks like a piece of glass that's wet. It's fantastically straight, uh, no defects, no deviations on anything. There's no little scratches or, or dents or anything on it. Drip rail molding. I mean, you can't, <laughs> it's not going to get any better than that. That's as nice as it gets. Chrome around the uh, uh, wing area, just as smooth and nice as can be. No patina whatsoever, none. Trim at the top of the doors and at the top of the quarter. New wipes, new whiskers, and the chrome trim that's framed around the uh, uh, side glass in this vehicle. No patina, none. And just as clean and clear as you'd ever want. Tinted glass on the sides. Door handles absolutely flawless chrome. The paint on this door and the fit of this thing is just totally amazing. Look at this. And this is the least expensive car that General Motors produced at that time. Someone spent a lot of time to fit these panels the way they are. I mean, I'm just totally amazed at the total fitment and uh, finish of this vehicle. Really, really high end. Very high end. Quarter panel. Or trim on top the uh, quarter panel to accentuate the little tiny bit of a fin that's there. No marks, no dents whatsoever. Nova on the side of it, gas filler cap, all tin. Side of this car is just totally amazing. Uh, looking down the side of it, it's just laser straight. Um, these cars were produced in a straight line. It's not like a Roadrunner or some of the GM cars that have a little bit of a curve, a little curvature through the. Uh, 
a quarter panel. This thing is just straight, and you could run a laser down the side of it. It doesn't even appear to have any doors from this point. That's how straight this thing is, and the door gaps, how they fit the way they do. Weld wheels. Uh, those are a forged uh, uh, aluminum wheel design. It's just polished aluminum. It's not chrome. Uh, a new round of BFG radials on it also. Weld wheels are very, very popular in this uh, era. Uh, this was like one of the first wheels. You had Kragers, <coughs> Keystones, uh, American Racing Torque Thrust, and these guys. And this was a choice for a lot of guys that were racers at that time. This was the actual lightest wheel you could buy at that point of uh, uh, history. That's what this guy has on it. Let's do the back seat we can find for you there. Okay, tail end of our little first generation Nova. Let's check this out. It's actually the first time I'm going over this car. I've driven it. I've driven it for a couple few days. But I never really went over it. It was actually dirty. I don't like to take these cars when they're all cleaned up and detailed. Once Jeff gets them done, I don't want to drive them anymore. I value my life. Um, but I never really got a chance to go over this car to check the fitment and the finish and everything. And this is my first opportunity to do that. And this thing's totally amazing. Eighth of an inch the whole way around this uh, deck lid. You can see it. The fitment is just absolutely as nice as you're going to find on one. There's just no way to get anything any nicer than that. It has a neat tail light system on it. In fact, I think it's the same tail light that was on the, um, the tailgate, uh, the top of the tailgate on my uh, Chevy tow hog up in PA uh, that I used to pull snowmobiles, but I'm almost positive that's the same exact tail light because it goes on top. But it functions. It really looks great in this vehicle. The um, backup light's nice and crystal clear. Check the aluminum fascia on the back of this. Absolutely spotless. There's no patina whatsoever in it. The same with these lenses are nice and clear and the, the framework around them, the anodized uh, trim around them, just absolutely no patina whatsoever. Again, the trunk fitment on the bottom cannot possibly fit any better. Let's check this bump around. Wow. That is spot on, just like the front end and the side and the whole back end of this car. It's just as nice as you will ever, ever find a vehicle fit. we got one more side to go, so we don't know if we're going to find something yet or not, but I can tell you so far there hasn't been one little tiny thing. I haven't found a stone chip, a mark, a scratch, a scuff, a deviation, a dent that we have to have addressed, nothing. This car is like a piece of glass everywhere. Let's do our last side and see if we can find something there. Okay, passenger side, last side of our little guy here. Again, it's, it's difficult for you to see what I see on the paint and the fit finish of this thing. Uh, Devin's going to show you a lot of high resolution photos, but to run my hands over this thing and feel the, uh, the, the paint on this car is just totally, totally out of this world. Done to the nth degree. Tin everywhere, no bondo, none. Not to mention on the other side, the trim around the back window is finely polished stainless. You know, normally this has a little bit of a satin finish to it, the, uh, the stainless trim around the windows. Not on this guy. Somebody had this off and finely polished it to a chrome type finish the whole way around. Tinted glass in the back also. The hat shelf on this is made out of the same material that they made the seats out of, the headliner out of, and uh, the, the, the entire interior, your door panels, your, just your side panels on the back, everything is made out of a kind of a gray tweed. It's, it's kind of a really neat, uh, and it's pleated on the seats. It's a real high-end type of uh, interior, and it's cloth, so you don't have to worry about uh, heat and uh, uh, on vinyl. Um, fantastic interior, this car. You'll see that in a minute here. I'm getting off track. Uh, quarter panel, the rest of the way up. Look at this, look, that is totally amazing. I mean, there is not, if you close your eyes, you cannot feel that there's a door there. You can't feel a seam, none. Sail panel, same as the other side, uh, absolutely flawless, the same as the roof line. Let's try our uh, drift rail. If there's anything there, I sure can't feel it. Trim around this window. 
And check the window fitment, the same as the doors and the wood and everything else, just as nice and straight as can possibly be. This is also finely polished to look like chrome, like the rest of this vehicle. The metal pieces, the accentuated pieces. Again, flawless door handle, paint on the doors, fit down to the rocker panel, cannot possibly get any better than it is. No patina on this side whatsoever. Everything finely polished stainless. Even these side pieces are finely polished stainless. Door to the front fender. Same as everything else. Just absolutely flawless. Look at this. Can you believe this? Totally amazing. Trim around the front window. Same as the rest of it. And again, our wiper, same match as the other side. This has a radio, and I just noticed there's no antenna. I have no idea where it is, but it does have a radio and some uh, uh, speakers in this vehicle. Again, Tim. <clears throat> I wish you could see and feel the finish and fit on this car. Uh, we tried to present it to you as best we could. I just went over this thing. You just watched me every inch of it. Might have missed a couple inches here and there. But everything from the weld wheels to the uh, tinted glass to the chrome around the windows themselves, the side windows, the polished stainless everywhere on this vehicle, the paint, which is insanely gorgeous, not average, just... <laughs> and the fit of every panel on this car. Uh, it, it's really hard to duplicate something like that. Uh, this is a very, very high-end uh, restoration on this vehicle. No cost was spared. You can see the engine compartment. You can see the uh, vehicle that we just went over. We just went entirely around this vehicle, the entire perimeter of it, and could not find a chip, a mark, a scuff, and, and misalignment, uh, a mark on the trim, uh, nothing on the chrome. Uh, we couldn't find anything on this car. Um, this is a car that uh, is available here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. Um, the car is a Florida vehicle. Uh, it's a no-rust vehicle. Uh, there was nothing that we could uh, uh, detect that had any uh, uh, body panels replaced at any point of its life. Uh, the, the car's just fantastic in every way. Um, we try to present these cars to you as well as we can. We try to go over every inch of them. We try to show you every little imperfection that we can find. You know, no matter how minuscule it is, I try to point it out. Devin gives you 90 high resolution photos for you to go ahead and take a look at and examine and you can blow them up and see every little tiny minute detail on this car that you you want to look at if there's something that we missed and you need something additional just please give us a call uh, we'll go ahead and do a little bit of a video of something that you want to see specifically on the car or Devin can get you a couple more high resolution photos of a certain aspect of the car that you want to see uh, this is, it is available at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida, and I don't know for how long because we're not going to price it that high, and it's a car that's absolute show quality, so definitely take a look at this one. Okay, this is the interior of our first generation Nova. Again, the interior on this thing equals the outside of this, the exterior of it. Uh, the fit and finish inside is just as good as it was on the outside. You can see the paint on the dash, which has no pad. Um, is just the same quality as it in a hood or the trunk or the roof. It just absolutely it appears to be a foot deep and wet. Uh, original AM radio is still intact in the dashboard, but high-end radio in the glove box. With a remote, by the way. There's a remote for uh, the operation. It has a uh, speedometer and, of course, gas gauge. It has a trio of gauges, amp, oil pressure, and temperature. And someone has fit a SunTac perfectly into the center section of this dash. It fits in absolutely perfect, and it functions also. Uh, all the knobs, all the uh, uh, chrome, polished aluminum, whatever, on the dash is just as it was when it was new. Uh, there's no scratches or deviations or anything on it. It has a real expensive billet aluminum wheel on it with some padding here, but the inside part of it is polished aluminum. And it has four spokes that are split. Um, door panels are a molded panel and made out of the same tweed material. They had to have been custom built. They had to have been custom made. Uh, but they're made out of the same tweed material that the seats are made out of. The carpeting also is... Uh, uh, it's a, 
hard looking. It's 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 a loop type carpeting, but it's real tight loops. It's not like a a regular GM carpet, uh, and it's also gray to match the door panels front and rear. The rear ones are also molded, by the way, and uh, the rear seat is pleated the same as the front seat with the same tweed type material, and they use the same material on the uh, sun visors and the headliner, which, by the way, is tight as a drum, and check out the light even works, the uh, dome light. It has a and m uh, shifter for the transmission, it has uh, stainless trim around the gas pedal, the brake pedal, and the the um, dimmer switch, handbrake is just a black plastic one the way they came uh, back in these first generation cars. Billet aluminum actuators for the doors and the window cranks, front and rear. Those are billet aluminum. This is a very, very high-end vehicle. And again, you can see everything is finely polished on this thing. Whether it's chrome or stainless, the stainless is made to look like the chrome. Uh, new rubbers everywhere. Everything has been refurbished. Uh, every seal on this vehicle has been attended to. Uh, even your your sill plates there uh, are polished up. And they are the original style of uh, GM plates. Interior of this car is absolutely show quality. Look at this, even tweed on the uh, kick panels in the front. Vents are still evident on them. Car does not have air conditioning, but it does have uh, so much of look and, and, and amenities to this thing. I can't imagine anyone not wanting to buy this vehicle. It's a fantastic vehicle. It runs good. It drives good. It's a vehicle you can take anywhere. I used the thing for about three days, and it is absolutely uh, dependable. Uh, starts every time, runs, shifts, drives, does everything you'd want from a regular vehicle. It's available here at Hangsters. Take a look at it. All right. We are in our first generation Chevy Nova here. Let's see what we got working and what we don't. We have a horn that works. Hi, guys. We have wipers. Let's see. Wipers at work. Look at that. Okay, we have turn signal left functioning. Turn signal right functioning as it should. We have a tachometer. Sun tack working just like it should. Temperature gauge functioning as it should. Two idiot lights. Um, we have a voltmeter down, we have a trio of gauges, a voltmeter that apparently is not hooked up because it's not showing us voltage, but you still have your idiot light. Um, water temperature is coming up just the way it should also, and there's your oil pressure holding at about 55 degrees sitting in your island, 65 when we give it gas. Uh, original GM radio, let's try and see if it works, probably not, because it does have an aftermarket system in uh, dash with a remote that goes along with it down here at this uh, Mickey Mouse shifter. Uh, let's see. I think that's it. Let's uh, go for a ride and see what this guy runs like. I know what it runs like because we use it for three days, but we'll take it for a ride and show you. Car goes down the road just as nice as you'd want. It has a real nice throaty sound to it. You can see it steers just as nice as could be, you know, the hands on the wheel, you know, it, it, it's going just like it should. Let's try to stop it once, no hands on the wheel, and see what happens with this guy. Okay, no hands on the wheel, and I'm stopping. Oh, there's police behind me again. Nice straight running car, speedometer working as it should. Uh, that's why he's behind me. I'm going uh, 55 and a 35. It's a nice driving car. Real nice positive steering in it. The steering, the steering is very light in this car. Uh, even though it has no power steering, you have no problem whatsoever uh, turning this vehicle, even when it's uh, you know in like a parking situation. It's a very, very light vehicle. Pretty well engineered piece here. Whoever did this car spent a lot of time on it. So you can see that there's no there's no problem turning this car at all. Absolutely not.
front of the car, you can see everything is just straight as an arrow. Oh, I gotta aim it the right direction. Straight as an arrow going down the road. Where is he? Uh, nice tight car, nice steering, nice positive steering. Got a great sound to it, you know. It has a nice rumble, it has a nice throaty sound to it, but not objectionably loud. Uh, just something you can take and enjoy. Your seating in this thing is great too because you seat up a little bit. It's not like you're down on the floor uh, looking up over the dash. Actually, you're looking down at the dash and down at the hood. Very well, nice, nicely put together piece of American history here. Okay, we're underneath our first gen uh, uh, Chevy Nova here. Bright red. You can't miss this thing going down the road. Absolutely no way. Uh, sway bar in the front. Uh, looks like new bushings on it. Disc brakes, cross-drilled rotors in the front, brand new calipers, brand new associated hardware, new tie rod ends. Uh, let's see, the steering box is original. The uh, uh, Pitman arm is a replacement. The idler arm also looks original, but it doesn't need replaced. Torque uh, gear reduction starter on it. Someone's fabricated a deep oil pan for this with a tunnel through it to uh, uh, take care of the uh, steering link. I'm going to call it a, uh, about an eight quart pan, um, but it is a nice, uh, nicely fabricated pan. Uh, long tube ceramic coated uh, headers on it. Looked like about an uh, inch and a half, inch and five eighths diameter, three inch collectors, long collectors going into two and a half inch pipes. Uh, turbo 350 tranny with a deep oil pan on it also. Uh, chrome, you can see. Uh, Subframes in the front are absolutely as they were since new. There's no indication that there's any uh, jack marks on it, uh, lift marks, uh, everything is nice and clean. The floorboards are the original floorboards and where the uh, fender wells transition onto the floor pans themselves. Thankfully no one has tried to jack it up through the years and dent the heck out of those. Those are all just as they were when it was produced new. Uh, original brake line heading toward the rear, parking brake still uh, original and functional. The battery is in the trunk on this particular car, it balances it out a little bit and it really cleans up that engine compartment which is show quality. And so you've got a, a set of cables going uh, from front to back on this, uh, on this vehicle and they're evident on this side here. Again the floor pans themselves, brand new, I mean they are just unobstructed. No dents, no nothing, even on the structural supports on them are just totally uh, dent free. You can see the uh, rocker panels where they transition to the floor pans uh, where they're, where they're uh, spot welded. They're, all the spot welds are still evident and uh, original from new. Really a nice, straight, original car underneath, totally rust free. And no leaks on the transmission, no leaks on the bell housing area, no leaks on the engine, no leaks on the tail shaft. New universal joint. Uh, again, we got our two and a half inch pipes uh, going into two turbo style um, Flowmaster uh, mufflers. Uh, subframes in the back, the torque boxes for the uh, monoleaf springs are just as they were when they were new. Absolutely perfect. They could not be any cleaner or nicer. No jack marks on them, no uh, bends or dents or anything whatsoever evident on them. The, uh, uh, again, the, uh, the subframes in the back are just as nice as you'd ever want to find. I can't see anything at all where there's any marks or anything whatsoever on them. No deterioration. Drum brakes in the back. Uh, discs I mentioned in the front. There's new shocks in the front that you can see. New air shocks in the rear of this vehicle. So it does have a set of air shocks that you can adjust the uh, ride height of the vehicle if you so choose. Uh, it has, uh, I'm going to call them two and a quarter uh, pipes going out the back. There you are. Um, um, emptying out about six inches before the rear bumper and uh, they have chrome tips on them, stainless tips uh, so that you can see them hanging down and they're polished. These are new mufflers too by the way, I just had those put on. Uh, it had a set of real noisy ones on, it sounded like crap so we put a set of uh, flow masters on it. Boy, it sounds good now. It has an electric fuel pump in the back, an original gas tank and it's not dented or marked or dingied up or anything. It has, uh, again, drums in the back. It has uh, a new round of rubber, uh, BFG uh, white letters, all four corners, 15-inch. Uh, 
trunk area is just as it was when it was new. I don't see anywhere it's been uh, fixed or replaced. Nothing's been uh, uh, addressed on this from what I can tell under here. Uh, the uh, upper part is carpeted, so there's no way to really see without tearing things up. The drop downs in the quarter panels still have all the original spot welds on them, and they are totally rust free. This vehicle is as rust free a little Nova that you will ever, ever find. I mean, I. I I just went over this with you. I've been under the car before and um, when well, we had these mufflers installed and I just couldn't believe, nor could the guys doing the mufflers at the uh, at Daytona Converter, they uh, they couldn't believe the condition of this car for a first generation Nova. It's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous under here. Um, no leaks, no deterioration, no dents. This is as nice a Nova as you're going to find anywhere. Take a look at it. It's on your Hankster's website, Daytona Beach, Florida.